Hey, what's up guys? It's Evan and today I'm going to be showing you how to send a text message from a React Native app. Over here you see I have an example. I'm going to press this button and then it's pre-populated with a number. I can use multiple numbers and then uh, a message, a body. And then if I were to cancel it or send it, uh, then if we go over to the snack, check the logs, you see I've got, ooh, I did it, a dry run. Today I'm going to be showing you... Hey, what's up guys? It's Evan. I've got the uh, the result here, which will say canceled or sent invalid number, and it will return that if you use the number from that, that one song that one time. Uh, it's the only joke number I know. Anyways guys, but a link to this snack and the docs and the package will all be in the description below. If I remember to do it, of course. So let's jump right into it. What have we got here? Well, it's very basic. I have a view, then I have a button, and then I have a suggestive message, and then I've got this on press method. So when I press that, we're gonna call this asynchronous function, and that's going to call this await SMS dot send SMS async. We're of course importing SMS from Expo. You could also import it like import SMS from Expo SMS. I believe, and uh, then that should work as well. I'm not actually going to try it because I don't want to. Then you can send, like I said earlier, multiple numbers. And uh, I wonder if that works. I don't. Maybe it doesn't. Yeah, there we go. Does work, and it's omitting the duplicate number. So very useful, unless of course you send a bunch of nonsense like I just sent. Go and close out of that and we should have a bunch of result closed canceled when this is done as you saw earlier if you cancel it or if you send it that will let you know what the result is which we can break out or whatever destructure out of the promised object that is returned got it so there is one other function that we can use which is is available right is available async dang it is available async if and then we can await the result of that let's just say if it is available then we can alert something because it is available so not much to not doing it whoa okay whoa push that way off into the corner Let's see that it oh man well that's a bug Anyways guys, that is it for the SMS package. It's a very simple one. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment what you want to see in the next video, and I will see you in the next video.